All right, now we're looking at FRQ number five here. Um, as usual, um, um, any corrections, any mistakes I make, I'll put in the description below or in a comment. Consider the function f of x whose curve is given by the equation this. Show that dy dx equals y over x. So this is implicit differentiation. You're going to take the derivative of both sides. Derivative of 2y squared is 4y times dy dx. Derivative of 6 is 0. Derivative of this, I have to do product rule. y times the derivative of sine is cosine x plus the derivative of y times sine x. You want to group all the dy dx's. So I'm going to move this one over. I'm going to factor out dy dx. And then um, you just divide this part to the other side. So we get dy dx equals y cosine x over 4y minus sine x. OK, so, diff so implicit differentiation. That's that. Write an equation for a line tangent to the curve at that point. Always use slope point form for tangent lines. Now this is my point. I just need to find the slope. That is the dy dx at the point um, 0, negative thir 0 root 3. So I have the equation of the derivative. So that is y root 3 cosine of 0 divided by 4 root 3 minus sine of 0. Cosine of 0 is uh, 1. Sine of 0 is 0. The root 3's cancel, so I get 1 fourth. So then my equation is, is y minus 1 fourth is equal to y minus 1 fourth. y minus root 3 is equal to 1 fourth x. x minus 0, technically, but you know, I don't need to subtract 0. That's it, point and slope. For this, find the coordinates of the point where the line tangent of the curve is horizontal. Horizontal tangent line means dy dx is equal to 0. So where is dy dx equal to 0? That really means the numerator is 0, right? I'm just going to copy that down so I have room. So then I do that when y cosine of x is equal to 0. That means y equals 0 or cosine of x is equal to 0. OK, but they said y was greater than 0, so we don't really care about this one. OK, and then um, x would have to be, what, pi over 2? 3 pi over 2. Uh, but we're only going from 0 to pi, so we actually cross that one out. Because the only times it's 0 is here and here on the unit circle. But we don't need that one because we're only going to pi. So just there. Determine whether f has a relative min, relative max, or neither at the point found in part c. So this one's tricky. You can't do first derivative tests when you have these kind of differential for, differential derivatives in this uh, this form with x and y, because I got to go to the right or to the left. It's a little bit hard to determine. So second derivative test is a lot easier in this case. So how I'm going to do the derivative of this, I do got to do quotient rule. So I got to do bottom times the derivative of the top derivative of y cosine x is dy dx. I'm going to do product rule um, minus y sine x. OK, that was just the first half of the quotient rule. Then the second half is top minus top times the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of the bottom is 4 dy dx minus a sine of, um, sorry, not sine, uh, derivative of sine is cosine, divided by uh, the bottom squared. Now, I really only care about whether this is positive or negative. I know this looks kind of mess messy. But I one thing that's simple is I know the derivatives are 0, right? Because it's relative min or max. I found that the dy dx has to be 0 there. So it can't be um, there. Also can't be. So, so that goes to 0. That goes to 0. Uh, sorry, I just had a pause to think on the previous one if I should consider where... Um, the point is undefined is as uh, is, is um undefined no, no no that'd be a vertical tangent line no no I'm, I'm good um so here and then the point is at one half so we have to look at um at one half so sine of one half 
is, or sorry, sine of, not one half, x is pi over two. So I'm plugging in pi over two. Sine of pi over two is one. So that's one there. That's a one. Cosine of pi over two is zero though. So this whole thing is now zero. This thing is one. So then this becomes a lot simpler. It's four y minus one times negative one minus all of that over 4y minus 1 squared. Let's just do a sign analysis. What is the y coordinate when x is pi over 2? We really need to know what the y, the y coordinate is. So we look at the original equation. 2y squared minus 6. So we had 2y squared minus 6 is equal to y sine x. Let me double check if that was right. 2y squared minus 6 equals y sine x. And so we're saying x is equal to pi over 2 at this point. Um, so I plug that into there. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so I have 2y squared minus 6 is equal to uh, y. And uh, 2y squared minus y minus 6 is equal to 0. It just occurred to me that they, they find the coordinates of the point on the previous problem. So I, I never actually did that. So that's, that's kind of why we kind of mess up. So we're sort of doing that now <laughs> in part D. <laughs> um, that's, that's my mistake. So let's factor this. Um, not 1 and 6, it's 2 and 3, and so it would have to be minus 2 plus 3. That would be 3 minus 4, it's negative 1, yeah, that works. So this is y equals negative 3 halves and y equals 2. So going back to up here, let's not circle that part, let's just say that our coordinates is pi halves comma negative 3 halves is one point and the other point is pi over two and um, two. So let's let's plug in for this one here. Now now that we know the y, so when y is equal to negative three halves, the second derivative is um, negative negative positive is greater than zero. So that means it's concave up. That means the point pi over 2 minus 3 halves is a relative minimum because it's concave up, basically. It's a concave up with a horizontal tangent line. And then when y equals 2, um, that's 8. That's positive. That's negative. That makes that negative, and the bottom's always positive. So that's negative. So that means pi over 2, 2 is a relative max. Had either of the second derivatives been zero, the test would have failed. You could not claim it was neither, and we would have to have attempted to do a different technique that probably would have been far more annoying to do. Um, but yeah, I think I did those computations right. I know I did them kind of fast. Um, I would check over them, but uh, I was trying to get these done. So 